Jody? Jody. Jody, come here, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. There's a world out here. A whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers. It's all around us. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Neither heaven nor hell. There's no god or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible merely by the force of my will. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there, that I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. Transparent. No more than a fading memory. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond. Sometimes, I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. 
replay over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people and I discover faraway places without ever leaving my room. The voice told me not to tell anyone. I'm really scared, especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness, strange noises, whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing, that it'll all go away. But she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. I often have the same dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again. <laughs> well, that was beyond, everybody. Awesome. Oh my God. I was so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what That was so it. cool. Was okay, so to let to me break down myself. what's happening at the end here. So, we have the, the flashback, or not the flashback, but we see our friends at, from probably the most difficult part of our life when we were homeless on the streets, and they started caring for us. And Tuesday has her child, and since we were there to help deliver it, some transference of this um, ability that we have went into uh, the child. And now she, we kind of became the child's Aiden, I think. And we're now kind of guiding, see right here, we're kind of guiding her through this other world and yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay. So here's here's a couple of thoughts that I that I I have to get off my chest. The first thing is that this was the easiest game that I've ever played to immerse myself in. Like it's I just sat I just would sit down and it was just like boom. I was just in it. It's hard to describe why that is, but. The story was being told in such a creative and interesting way that I was uh, just taken aback by what was happening in front of me. And there's a couple of criticisms that the game is going to have. The first criticism is going to be, well, is it really a game? And yes, it's really a game. I don't want to get into that whole debate. But the second criticism is going to be, did your choices really matter? And I'll say to a certain extent that the choices um, short term did matter. Obviously, the giant choice at the end mattered. And probably your choice about rejecting uh, Ryan Clayton or not uh, would in turn have him either be there at the end with you or not. So those are, I think, probably the major choices that had an impact. And uh, I think, I think that this would have been a stronger experience if there would have been more branching opportunities. From a production side, I know why they can't do that, because, you know, hiring these A-list actors is not cheap. That would just cost a lot of a lot of money. Would it have made it better? It would have been incredible. But, that being said, I did not feel let down at all by the story. I didn't. And there's gonna be there's gonna be a couple of criticisms that that uh, I agree with a little bit. First of all, Aiden being the the unborn brother. I, I kind of saw that coming from a long time away, but at the end of the day, this isn't a game about who is Aiden. 
This isn't a story about who is Aiden and what is he here for. That is not at all the story. Okay? And if if you're stuck thinking about that, you're going to be really let down that Aiden was just... Okay, it just turned out to be your brother. Right? And... I just think that... People are going to take the whole CIA thing and the the paranormal, the Department of Paranormal, paranormal Activity and just the ending in general where you're walking towards the black sun as being like, oh, that's so over the top. But if you think about it, uh, this game is, is exploring that. It's exploring the, the other world that we know nothing about. And it's trying to put that into a form of images, into, in, into a narrative that um, we can picture on the screen. And it's a, it, they're trying to tell the story of this might be what happens. Right? And we saw when Nathan was really trying to hold on to his family and it was like, it was hurting them. They were in clear agony, but he was so blind to it that he was willing to do it. And yes, he, he went crazy and he just, he got lost in all of the emotion. But at the end of the day, uh, he did not realize that he was hurting his loved ones by not letting go of them. And I think that's a metaphor for real life where, uh, you know, you're, somebody passes away and you you keep holding on to them and you hold on to them and you know in, in some situations if you lose like your husband or your wife it it holds you back from developing further relationships not just romantic relationships but any other relationships a lot of people shut shut out the world and you do need that time to grieve but you you eventually have to let people go and i think that's what this is really about this is about this is, I think, you know, it's more about um, Nathan's kind of showing the the side of people that just hold on and they end up losing themselves in it. And so Jody, on the other hand, um, she's kind of had this, this experience through her whole life where she's had to hold on to somebody and she hasn't liked it. She hasn't really known why until now. Right? And at the very beginning of the game, we are essentially, we're at the end of the game telling this story, trying to put everything together as to why we're in this situation in the beyond. Right? And now it all, now it all kind of makes sense. So I think there's going to be some, some fair criticisms. I think that there's going to be some, uh, some unfair criticism people are going to make because they had different expectations of what this game is. But I think... Quantic Dream actually did a fantastic job, and there's a lot of things going on. Oh, that's really sweet. From Marie and Mercedes from the Infraworld. I know you're watching me. That's really sweet. I'm just, I don't know if there's going to be something at the end here or not. I just, I think this is a game that's challenging the way you look at death and how you hold on to people or how you let them go. And for the story that it told, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And that's really all I have to say about it. So, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so, so, so much for the support on this series. Uh, on the first day that I was releasing it, I ended up releasing, I think, like eight videos or something because I, I'm really cognizant of the fact that I don't want to uh, spam. And I, I, I mean that in the sense that, like, if I were to just pop out ten videos, it, it totally ruins your, your sub box and it takes away from other content that you find interesting. And sometimes people feel obligated to watch um, and I don't want to overwhelm people. But at the same time, if, if, if the majority of people, they actually are saying, yes, okay, let's, I would love to see more of this, then I'll do that. And so uh, I kind of was having some fun with you guys doing the uh, setting the little like benchmarks. And I, ne I hate asking for likes on videos, but um, it's just something fun for me to do with you guys. And I think it worked out great for everybody because we ended up uh, releasing content at a, at a uh, regular pace that people wanted. And that's, that was my my goal. So uh, I just want to say to you guys, it's just been overwhelming the amount of support that you've given me, not in just this game, but all of my other games. And 
Uh, it just like, it's really heartwarming that you guys watch my videos and I, I do a lot of things on this channel that you might not be used to. Um, especially, you know, just focusing on the narrative so much and, and just getting into the story as much as I can. And there was one comment that, that really stood out and it was like, uh, somebody said something about sometimes I let my own morals get in the way of what the character would do. And I guess it's hard for me to, uh, to talk to that because yes, you're controlling a character and you could role play that character and you could do what you think they would do. But at the same time, I think, especially in Beyond Two Souls, I think this is an experience for you, the individual, and it's challenging you the way you think and the choices you would make. Like, I think it's very safe to assume that you can play Jody as yourself. And there, it was, there, at times it was tough to play from a female's uh, perspective just because, you know, that's just beyond me, no pun intended. Uh, but I think we did a pretty good job, and I'm really happy with this series. I'm really, really, really happy with the way that this turned out and uh, with the engagement I've had with you guys and all of the support that you guys have given me. I just, I'm just super elated. So once again, guys, thank you very much. And uh, I don't know what's going to come up next, but uh, I hope that it can live up to this because this was a very, very fantastic experience that I'm very grateful for. We'll see you next time.